This is really... <coughs> I've really missed... <coughs> we have breaking news. I'm toasted. And they pay me gobs of money to talk like that. Fez, do something with your hair, man. It's making me paranoid. Guys, I have discovered a band that will change music forever. And I ran, I ran so far away. I just ran, I ran all night and day. I love to cook, you know? I'm really good with sauces. <laughs> Guys, sometimes when I do the news, I don't wear any pants. <laughs> you know, there's some things about her I really miss. <laughs> and then she just comes down in the basement like it's no big deal. And after what happened, and she's just gonna act like everything's cool and everything's fine? You don't love me, you don't get my couch. <laughs> or my friends. I'm a package deal, baby. So I just told her, fire up those walking sticks, Big Red, because this ain't happening. I'm not having it. Hey, Foreman. We were all there. And that ain't how it happened. Wanna talk about it some more? Mmm, no. <laughs> this is what you normally do? I used to do this too back when I was being an artist. I love art. I hate work. But I love art. And I hate work. Do you hear that, Foreman? Theo's an artist who hates work and who at this moment is very open to suggestion. Oh, I got you, hi. Theo, cluck like a chicken. Do it. Ow! Oh. Theo, if you're unhappy, and I hope you are, you gotta be true to yourself. Give up construction, man. Go back to art. You broke up with art? The photo hut's cool. <laughs> uh, your job kicks ass. <laughs> yeah. I never thought I'd be a working man, man. But man, here I am. Working for the man. You know what, man? I like the man. Hey, thanks, man. So, my probation officer was sure happy I came by. He even wants to see me for some additional years. He's a good guy. Ugly, fat, hoary, old, hoary, old, four eyes, ugly, fat. Oh, this one's kind of cute. I mean, for a fatty. I mean, for a whore? God damn, Jackie, what do you want me to say? That's it. Can I work like this? Anyone who doesn't have to be here must leave. Fez. I said leave. Damn, Fez. You've only been here one day and you're already trying to change everything. Yeah. It's like we crossed into some different dimension. Where we're in some kind of... photo hut. It's eerie, man. You know, I wasn't that worried about Donna and my mom talking about me, but now that I'm all paranoid, I'm all, like, paranoid. I mean, when did it become okay for them to be friends? Right after your father replaced you with a semi-literate pretty boy. That's me. So I've been thinking about great actress to model myself after, and I choose Travolta. Kelso, 
I can think of no better way to impress Red than by acting like Travolta in his industrial film. <laughs> Bravo, man. That is good advice. Man, I don't want Donna and my mom talking about me. Yeah, and Donna's a big mouth. Like, she told me how you wore makeup to last year's class picture. What? <laughs> I did not. I, did. I had a zit. Stop looking at me. Foreman, you and I are both victims of parental abandonment. Luckily, I have a rich hippie benefactor. He bought me nudie mags I'd never even heard of. Yeah, I stocked this shelf. But someday, I'm gonna dance across this whole city. That's dead on. Kelso, you should tell Jackie where you go. That way, when she wants to do it, she can find you and do it. Boy, do I want to do it. Fez, the foundation of every good relationship is three words. I don't know. Where are you going? I don't know. What are you thinking about? I don't know. What, who's that under you? I don't know. It's, it's bulletproof. Why are you friends with him? I don't know. Hi, what the hell? What is she doing in my seat? I don't know. It's a good one, Kelso. Just sit on the floor. The floor? Why don't I sit on the floor? Visitors get the floor, all right? And that's you, Terry Tube Top. <laughs> oh, and by the way, it's winter. You're a drag. OK, well, sayonara, Yoko. <laughs> what? We're kind of the Beatles. So, dipping into the frankincense, I see. Well, no more of that, okay? We're gonna do this play the way it was meant to be done. And no spacemen. And anyone who doesn't like that is no Christmas friend of mine. And we should be a little bit nicer to those of us who wanna watch Christmas specials. I mean, when Rudolph's nose shone so bright and Santa realized he could guide the sleigh at night, that was a great moment in American history. Also, Rudolph was small, had a girly voice, and I'm pretty sure he's a little light in the hooves, if you know what I mean. Of course he was light in the hooves, he could fly. Oh, I would have kissed Prancer. Well, you've all ignored me, so I'll take that as a resounding vote of confidence. Guys, let's do this thing. What on God's green earth? What? Pastor Dave, I was just... Oh, I know what you were doing. I recognized that smell from the ACDC concert. I was handing out leaflets. No, but I wasn't... Eric Borman, in... you're fired. You know what? Fine. Rudolph had a girlfriend. Her name was Clarice. She thought he was cute. Okay, if anyone was gay, it was that, that Herbie. I, no straight elf has hair like that. Yes, Kelso is right. Everyone is trying it. I'm telling you. This stuff isn't just for cakes, it's great, all by itself. <laughs> wait, wait, watch this. <laughs> Look at me. I'm whipped cream head. Fear me. Oh, fear, whipped cream head. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting some weirdness from Cousin Penny. Earlier, she gave me a hug, but this wasn't a cousin hug. Her middles touched. And not just for a second. She pressed. 
I've heard of kissing cousins, but have you ever heard of doing it cousins? Because that's what I think Foreman should be shooting for here. Kel, so I appreciate the advice, but your solution to every problem is do it with her. I'll work with my old science teacher. C minus. Well, unfortunately, Penny is my cousin. That'd be like looking at my mom and thinking, hey, baby, how, I'm just going to stop right there. I've thought that about your mom, but I didn't stop right there. Well, I think get a bad rap, man. I like the Wizard of Oz. We were the midgets. Then I got benched like 10 midgets. Hey, look at all this stuff you confiscated. Mine. Mine. Ooh la la, mine now. <laughs> Why am I not Snow Queen? For the last two weeks, I was nice to everybody. Well, Maybe not the A.V. club, but I mean, come on! Jackie, you can't just be nice for two weeks. You have to be nice all the time. Or very handsome. <laughs> oh! My banana nose! <sighs> I thought this was gone forever! <laughs> it's still funny! Maybe Donna was right. Maybe being popular isn't as important as being nice to people. I mean, I know that sounds wrong, but anything's possible. Hey, Jackie, whatever makes you feel better about being a loser. Hey, watch the banana nose. <laughs> hey, I. When this is all over, you think we'll still be friends? Well, my head says no, but my heart says no. So, no. I wonder what Don and Foreman are doing right now. This is the best tornado ever. I know. And who better to be stuck here with than America's most beloved rock band, ladies and gentlemen, Aerosmith! Hey, these rock legends, we've had some pretty good times. But it doesn't get any better than this. Hello, Wisconsin! Yeah, I dig this joint too. Hello, Wisconsin. That was your Aerosmith? You're bad at that. Steven Tyler is way cooler, and Joe Perry is so dreamy. God, you're bad at that. That was dead on, right, guys? I bought it. You, uh, really think I'm dreamy? Whoa. The station manager stuff is way better than ours. I can't believe that Jackie wants me to get a job. I mean, my plan has always been to coast through life on my good looks. I mean, look at me. It's like I was chiseled out of marble. <laughs> okay, you guys, here goes. Dad? I love you. I love you. Pop. Poppy. Happy? Daddy? No. Oh no, I have to, I have to stop eating Randa's chocolates. Oh, I'm hopeless. Kelso, if you need to make some quick cash, just sell your blood. And you, you've had enough of this. No, I can stop any time I want. <laughs> I am not selling blood. I mean, there's no way that anything inside of my body's coming out for cash. That's well, too bad, Kelso, because I hear there's this clinic in Madison that'll pay you for your, um, manly donations. Manly donations? No way! They'll pay you for that? Well, I'll do that. I'm good at that. <laughs> you guys are never gonna believe this. Jackie cheated on me. With the cheese guy! 
No! Yeah. I was just as shocked as you are. Oh. Thank God all she did was kiss him. Wait. How do you know all she did was kiss him? <laughs> kiss? Yeah, I didn't say kiss. Don't make fun of my accent. That cheese guy's lucky he's a little fella. I kick his ass. Just boom! Right in the ass! Yeah, man. You gotta kick his ass. Like on Fantasy Island, if Tattoo took one of Mr. Rourke's women up to his little tower and put it to her, Rourke would slap that little dude like a drunk southern widow. Then he hit him off with some vicious voodoo. Voodoo on tattoo. Voodoo. Tattoo. Peekaboo. Honeydew. Kung Fu. Cuckoo Kachoo. I'm done. Hey, Kelso, who's got stronger powers? I dream of Jeannie or Samantha from Bewitched? <laughs> That's easy. Samantha, which is totally be genies. Cause witches can fly. Game over. <laughs> hey, why does Jeannie wear those see-through clothes? It's gross. <laughs> it makes me feel funny. No way is Samantha hotter than Jeannie. Hey, I heard they made an episode they never aired. Where Jeannie gets totally naked. The government banned it. <laughs> All I know is, with one little nose twitch, Samantha's clothes could be off. And that's hot. What if you didn't have to choose? What if you could be with both at the same time? Is that legal? Hey, man. If you don't get caught, everything's legal. <laughs> Stolen pretzel. Guys, this conversation is over. Yesterday, Samantha went back in time. That trumps anything Jeannie ever did. Oh, yeah? Well, Jeannie can freeze time. So Samantha would go back, and Jeannie could just freeze her there. Who kicked whose ass then? <laughs> you know what decided this whole thing? Little Samantha on Jeannie, mud wrestling. I'd pay a dollar to see that. All I know is, Samantha helps Darren at work, but what does Jeannie do for Major Nelson? Turns his boss into a monkey. This is not helpful. I gotta call Major Nelson's sexuality into question here. I mean, any guy who's got a half-naked Jeannie, he's got her doing more than his laundry. You know what would be best? Samantha's hair, Jeannie's pretty bottle room, and Wonder Woman's accessories. Pew, 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 pew. Hey guys, we've been talking about this for a really, really long time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You were right, Donna. Now, not only are we beautifying, but we're groovifying. <laughs> hey, I just made up a word. Yeah. Whoever said you can't do two great things at once? I bet it was a one-armed, pessimistic guy. Yeah, you just gotta stay positive, man. Like, I don't wanna learn French. So every day I think positive thoughts about not learning French. And look at me. I don't know a word of French. <laughs> okay, now what would Hyde want? Something stolen. Stolen's good. But you know what's better? Stolen and dirty. So what's a good gift for Hyde that's stolen and dirty? Someone else's pig! No, no, wait! I got it, I got it! A street sign. We'll steal it, 
so it'll be stolen. And it's dirty, so it'll be dirty. Oh my God. Kelso just solved his first word problem. Aww. Yeah. I learned those in Miss Carter's class. Because I knew if I got one right, that she'd give me a hug. No bra, and they were always pointy. Now that's good teaching. Ooh, guys, Fez's concert's about to start. Which means we have three more hours without his sorry ass. Let's eat his candy. Yeah. My name is Fez. I love candy. Or good day. I say good day. Yeah, and the best part is, that idiot actually thinks I'm his friend. <laughs> like I care. I wish he were dead. Oh, hey, we should kill him. No. I got a better idea. Let's sing without him. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Some call me the gangster of love. Speak of the poverty of love. <laughs> Cause I'm a picker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, and I'm a sinner. I get my loving on the run. I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. Playing my music in the sun. with my friends. Some people call me the space cowboy. No, nobody calls you that. And if anyone's the space cowboy, it's me. What? Your dreams, Foreman. I am widely acknowledged as the space cowboy of this group. And I also call Midnight Toker. Wow. This cheeseburger is bloody brilliant. Well, I called the Lay Motel. Fez, you were right. Casey has a reservation for tonight. And hi, you were right. I cannot keep a secret. Keeping a secret? Look what I found in Jackie's cheese. Some guy Phil's phone number. I, I can't take this anymore. I just know it. I, she's cheating on me again. Kelso, don't jump to conclusions. Maybe I don't care. For me. Man, you gotta be cool about this Donna thing, or she's gonna know you're jealous. You can't be all Simon and Garfunkel. You gotta get Bruce Springsteeny. Springsteenian. Springsteenicious. Wait, what are we talking about? Bro, hey, you guys, I'm not jealous. I'm just looking out for her. I mean, Donna's practically a sister to me. A tall, shapely sister who I've done it with about a million times. Look, maybe Don and Casey won't even do it tonight. I'd call it 50-50. You would? Oh, I'd be wrong. But I'd call it that to keep you from doing something stupid. Foreman, you gotta do something stupid. I'm sitting around feeling helpless all day? That isn't healthy. That's why I'm on a stock, Jackie. You know, I really love things with holes. Swiss cheese, donuts, inner tubes. I don't know what it is about a hole, it just feels good. Ooh, baby. Well, me and Jackie are officially over. We're as done as this hot dog. <laughs> this hot dog isn't done? Well, if kicking Casey's butt is the same as babbling at him from a safe distance, and boy, did I do it! <laughs> but seriously, you guys, the days of Daffy are over. It's time for action. 
I'm going Roadrunner on his ass. <laughs> me, me, pow! Good. Because thanks to his stupid advice, Rhonda dumped me. I tried to steal third, but she blocked me. And choked me. Now there's no more baseball for Fez. It's back to handball. Girls, man. They'll make you miserable. Well, I got a date. So long, fuckers! So, my mom and I were at the hub getting ice cream, and we caught Donna with Casey skipping school. And she was drunk. In the middle of the afternoon. It was like... It was like Sue Ellen on Dallas. You went to the hub for ice cream with your mommy? Why would you tell me that? Hide. The point is, he went for ice cream without us. You cannot pick up a phone? You know who can't pick up a phone? Jackie. I broke up with her, and she never calls to even say hi or offer me sad but hot breakup sex. I mean, that's just selfish. Guys, my mom's over at the Pinciati's right now telling Bob about Donna being drunk. Can't do that kind of stuff in the middle of the afternoon. It'll mess with your, 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 your... thinking thing. And you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you gotta stay sharp, man. That's why I keep myself pure until 3 o'clock. <laughs> 2 o'clock. That's why I keep myself pure until 2 o'clock. <laughs> I'm not wearing a watch. <laughs> <laughs>